Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWF Armageddon. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have a big, big night up. Big night for you. A lot of special matches, a lot of special talent in the ring. And tonight, Kurt Angle will lay it all on the line with his WF title and Triple H versus The Undertaker for the world title. So tonight, we're going to find out what are the odds in this matchup. And what a night it's going to be, ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the first match of the night. And here comes William Regal. And the European Regal champion, Regal William Regal, telling Chris Jericho if he can win this tag matchup against him and his nephew, Harry, he can get a title shot at the Royal Rumble. And you know, William Regal is a prestigious champion. I mean, look what the things William Regal done to get back in this position. You know, that Queensberry table match it was a perfect strategy by him. And William Regal, his nephew Harry defeating Chris Jericho with the brass knucks on Monday Night Raw. Harry just made his debut here in the World Wrestling Federation this past Monday on Raw. Yeah, and now he's teaming alongside his uncle, the European champion. And these guys are royalty. And the question is, can they be royalty tonight against Chris Jericho and his mystery partner? Jericho had to call on for help for this match. He didn't have any ta tag, official tag partner. Oh, and speaking of royalty, here comes Prince Harry. <laughs> and look at the money falling from the ceiling. This is wealth. And this young stud comes from the streets of Blackpool, England. Weighing in at 220 pounds. And this is going to be a heck of a contest, ladies and gentlemen. And Harry in the same tights and boots as his uncle. <laughs> You can tell this this young pretty boy comes from wealth. And these people should be happy <laughs> that money is falling to the you know to the ground and these fans are picking it up. You know, Harrison just has this swag, this this cockiness about itself. The young kid at the tender age of 24 is here in the WAF living his dream. Harry Regal. He shocked the world Monday night defeating Chris, excuse me, Chris Jericho. But he used the brass knucks and the referee did not see it. And that definitely stopped Chris Jericho from getting a, a title shot at William Regal's European Championship. Thanks to this young kid right here. And Jericho has to win this tag matchup in order to face William Regal for the title at the Royal Rumble next month. And speaking of Chris Jericho, here comes the Ayatollah of rock and roller, Chris Jericho. Oh, man. And you got to be wondering what's on the mind of Chris Jericho. And Jericho lost in controversial fashion at Survivor Series in the Queensberry Tables match against William Regal. And Chris Jericho, he looks focused, but... Can he be focused tonight against William Regal and his young nephew, Harry? I mean, Harry's faster, younger, more athletic. Uh, you're going a little too far, Sam, more athletic. Jericho is quite the athlete when he's in between that, in between those ropes. And Harry and Regal strategizing outside the ring to the far left. Let's find out who his a partner is. And wait a minute. It cannot be Cactus Jack. Oh, my God. Cactus Jack is in the building. No one expected to see Cactus Jack here. But he's here. And we haven't seen Cactus Jack in months. And the fact that he's come out of, out of his hiatus to help Chris Jericho, that says a lot. And I can't I, believe it. I don't think William Regal. Or his, his nephew, Prince Harry, know the consequences when dealing with a man from truth or consequences. Well, don't speak too soon because look. Oh, wait a minute. Look at Regal. And Regal and Harry are already getting a piece of Cactus Jack and Chris Jericho. Oh, look at Regal. And the strategy that, oh, and Prince Harry over there taking care of Cactus. And the strategy that Regal and his nephew has. And wow, what a shot to Jericho. And Regal getting the upper hand in this 
this contest right now. And Harry's over there taking care of Cactus Jack. Oh, and Jericho throwing Regal into that post. And Prince Harry. Oh, Cactus Jack taking it to Prince Harry. And Jericho telling Regal to get in the ring. No. Oh. Looks this, like those two are going to start it off. And this match is underway, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and Cactus Jack playing dirty outside the ring. And Jericho having the upper hand. Oh, well. And well, Prince Harry's at the top. Oh, and Harry. And now Regal going for the pin. Oh, and Jericho kicking out. And he, Regal with a premature pin attempt. It's going to take a lot more than that. Oh, and the European champ, nobody home for him. You know, you got to love these two, William Regal and Jericho. They push each other past, past the limit like they're doing right now. But the question is, does Regal and them have enough to stop Chris Jericho and Cactus? Uppercut from Regal. Jericho, if he wants that title shot, he's going to have to get in this match. Oh, and Regal caught up on the ropes. Oh, and a jab from Prince Harry. And, and Jericho course, in the days. Oh, and Regal takes Of course, Prince down. Harry gets involved in a matchup. And the crowd definitely behind Jericho. But he's not enough for the Royal Ones. Williams' nephew now oh, finally getting a taste of his first ever pay-per-view here. And look at the strength of Chris Jericho, but Harry on the river. Oh, what a counter. The 6'5", Harry. Oh, and now oh, Cactus Jack is in. Here Harry, you're in trouble. Bro. Oh, and oh. Harry taking him down. I don't think Harry really cares too much about Cactus, but he's not familiar with a man from Truth or Consequences. Oh, and Harrison getting out of the way. No. Oh, quick neck breaker. Oh, taking Jericho down. And Harry is all over Chris Jericho. And this kid's 24 years old. I mean, how can you not be this good? Oh, and the power of Cactus, the more experienced legend. Oh, what a shot. Trying to break that nose. All right, Harrison. Oh, a clothesline. And now he's going to tag in his uncle. And the Regals, they're definitely all over Cactus Jack and Jericho right now. Oh, it ain't. oh and Cactus caught up in the ropes. Yeah, he hooked Cactus right on those ropes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not forget what Undertaker did on SmackDown, though. Let's talk about that. That yeah. was impressive. And a, a table elimination match against Triple H and Hogan. He was all alone after his partner Kurt Angle had been eliminated. Early. <laughs> and he came, came out with the win. And look at the strength of Cactus Jack. Oh no, the European champion in trouble though. Oh. Oh, and this is a submissioning. I've Regal better be careful not to, to never tap seen out. Never anything like that. Oh, and Regal getting out of that. Oh, clothesline Cactus. And Cactus out the ring. And Regal. And what is Regal attempting at the? The top rope. No, oh. no one home for Regal. What a miss. And Jericho is officially back in the matchup. Oh, and Harry hits the. He hits him. And the ref's down right now. And what does Regal have in his hand? Regal needs to focus on getting back in the ring. ring. And what a DDT by Y2J. And, of course, if Jericho wins, he definitely gets a shot at the European Championship again. And what a clothesline. And that underhook uppercut by the Royal England. I know Jericho couldn't wait. He couldn't wait to get his hands on Regal. And what is Jericho thinking about? And Jericho, oh, and there goes that lion saw and we have Prince Harry up top. Oh, and Prince and, Harry breaking and, it up. And Harry breaking up, breaking up that pen attempt by Jericho. Oh, Harry. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> and he walks right into a leg sweep by Jericho. And Prince Harry trying to come to the aid of his uncle. And Jericho going for that cover. And 
William Regal. Prince Harry is definitely uh, not at the corner. Oh, yeah, William Regal. Oh, boy. What a maneuver. Ooh, and Cactus, Cactus Jack. Saving. Saving. Saving <laughs> Chris Jericho's title shot chances. Oh, and William Regal now. Oh, Cactus being abused. And Jericho trying to. <laughs> oh, wait, what is Prince Harry doing? Oh, oh Harry. my God. Oh, wait, and Regal now. Oh, Harry's caught on that rope. What is Regal going to do? Oh boy! Oh no! And this is what Regal didn't want to get put in. Not and, the wall to Jericho. Make him tap. Can he oh, make no. him tap? Can he make him tap? And Prince Harry. Prince Harry was. Prince Harry coming to the rescue of his uncle. And now Prince Harry. What is Prince Harry doing? He needs to get on the apron. This no. is a tag match. You don't get involved unless you're tagged in. And Prince Harry sticking his nose. And now look at Regal and Harry. They definitely have the upper hand in this contest. Now oh, the cactus jacket to those stairs. And the ref. And Regal said he vowed to make Jericho tap. And Jericho is not going to allow oh, that to happen. Regal. Oh, and Regal kicked. Oh, but a clothesline to keep him back down. And Cactus is out of commission. And Prince Harry, what is Prince Harry thinking? Oh, and Prince Harry, the royal knee. The royal knee. <laughs> and Prince Harry, I think he's... Oh, the royal knee. Put Jericho, Jericho will not get his title shot. <laughs> and William Regal and Prince Harry. And again, Prince Harry saves his uncle's championship chances. And William Regal proud of his nephew. And I see a future for this young man in the WAF, a very bright one. God, Jer you got to give it to him. Jericho unsuccessful. And Prince Harry making his mark. Then, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Jeff Hardy versus Brian Pillman. And Jeff Hardy, he was so confident that he could beat Brian Pillman, he decides to put his money in the bank on the line. And Pillman attacked Jeff Hardy on SmackDown Thursday night. And now, Jeff Hardy was brave enough to put his money in the bank briefcase on the line here tonight at Armageddon. And you know, this kid, he has to be out of his mind. Why would you put your championship opportunity on the line? It makes no sense to me. Making his way to the ring from Cameron, North Carolina. We all know that Jeff Hardy is a fighter. And sometimes he's misunderstood. But I'm sure he's confident enough that he's going to win this matchup. I mean, this is his specialty. Yeah, I hope so. That's all I can say. I hope Jeff Hardy, as he's going in this singles run, I hope. He can be successful and prevail. And that money in the bank briefcase hanging in, hanging in the balance. And here comes Brian Pillman. And his opponent from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at And this guy, Brian Pillman, a, a very odd individual. Wait a minute, what is Pillman doing? And Pillman. 
Oh, no one and over Pillman. Pillman completely missing. And Pillman just tried to really, he really burst tried the it. full speed. Oh, and Jeff Hardy unsuccessful. And that briefcase is hanging in the balance. No, oh, and Pillman already on Jeff. TLC matchup. I mean, this is something Jeff is experienced with Pillman. On the other hand, not, not so. And Hardy versus Pillman. Oh, oh Jeff. What, a, what a leg drop by Jeff Hardy. You know, Jeff, this is what Jeff Hardy does. He's extreme like this. Don't get me wrong. Pillman's extreme, too. But this ladder stuff, this is Jeff Hardy all the way. Oh, and Hardy planted down. And Pillman letting the crowd know what he's about. And Jeff Hardy, obviously the fan favorite in this matchup. And what a jawbreaker by Jeff Hardy to Pillman. And Pillman has been on the hunt for Jeff Hardy for about two months now. Oh, oh back dropping Jeff Hardy. And you know, guys like Pillman. Yeah, Jeff Hardy. They don't take none of these type of opportunities from, for granted. Oh, and Jeff with a face plant. Jeff Hardy with a vicious face buster. And now he's got Pillman. He's got Pillman hoist. Oh, and Pillman slips out of the power bomb. That was. And Jeff Hardy. Oh no, Jeff. Oh, and Pillman. Wow, right into the right into the steel pole. You gotta give it to Brian Pillman. He just threw Jeff right into the, the pole. Yeah, that was a heck of a shot. And the chair shots begin. And Jeff Hardy getting away from that chair shot. The possibility of a chair shot. Man, Jeff Hardy's just an idiot. I'm sorry. Why would he put his cha his championship opportunity on the line? It just makes no sense. Obviously, Jeff Hardy is a, a, a fighter who has confidence in himself. And uh oh, what is this? Oh, and right into Pillman. What a maneuver by Jeff Hardy. Oh, and Brian Pillman knocked down again. And Pillman is going to have to come up with a strategy. Because I don't think Jeff Hardy's going to let up anytime soon. Oh, my God. That impact. And Jeff Hardy now has that steel chair. Oh, and Pillman getting the chair out of his hand. Oh, and another chop from Jeff Hardy. It seems like Jeff Hardy's countering everything that Brian Pillman does. Pillman, Pillman. Looking, for, looking for more hardware. Oh, oh, and Jeff Hardy completely missed. After trying to dive out of the ring, he crashed through that table. And Brian Pillman, not even phased by it, he walks away. And Pillman grabbing a ladder. And Brian Pillman, just all he's focused on is trying to be successful in this matchup. And Jeff Hardy setting up that ladder. No and Jeff Hardy, oh my God, and he did not connect. No one home. Jeff Hardy taking too many calculated risks. That they're not really calculated. I think he just he just diving out of the ring and not thinking about thinking about the consequences. Pillman, we know what Pillman's thinking about. He's thinking about winning. Jeff Hardy, on the other hand, I don't know. Oh, and a chair shot. God, and he misses. No, oh, oh. Jeff Hardy would have died. What a cross body by Jeff Hardy. Oh, no, a Pillman going up. What goes up? It has to come down. And Jeff oh, Hardy. Oh, oh my God. And Pittman. And Jeff Hardy trying to stay focused in this matchup. Oh, no. What is Jeff Hardy thinking? It's not looking good for him. Jeff Hardy. Oh, oh my God. Leg Pillman. God, this kid is crazy. And Jeff Hardy with a leg drop to Brian Pillman. <laughs> and this crowd is behind Jeff Hardy after that leg drop, the daredevil from Cameron, North Carolina. And Brian Pillman's out cold from that move. And he's going for his briefcase. And Pillman trying to gain consciousness. And Jeff Hardy going for his briefcase. And Jeff Hardy being smart. Realizing 
Oh God, and Pillman, oh, oh. to the ladder. And Pillman, God, and Jeff Hardy just couldn't wait. He couldn't wait for this opportunity to, to really destroy Brian Pillman. And this TLC matchup is everything and more. When Pillman's out cold, Jeff Hardy's just putting up hardware after hardware. And Pillman now taking that, that table from Hardy. And Jeff Hardy relieving Pillman of the table. Oh, and Pillman goes down at the shot of a table at the hands of Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy already crashed through a table earlier. Oh, man. And Pillman. Oh, and Pillman. Revert. What Jeff Hardy had planned and then a cross body. And Pillman needs to really get back focused in here. He says he's going to walk out this match with his briefcase. Oh, oh, both, both, both men thinking the same no, thing. Pillman striking back first, though. And Pillman already said Jeff Hardy can't compete to him. Could be on the mind of Pillman. Uh oh. And Jeff Hardy. It's not looking good for Brian Pillman, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and Pillman. Not gonna allow that to happen. And Pillman. Oh. I think he was trying to. Trying to get Jeff Hardy. And Pillman coming back into the ring again. Jeff Hardy, he's trying to. No, oh, that's it. Brian Pillman says he's had enough. No. Oh, and Pillman taking Hardy down. Crowd certainly. Oh, what a chop by Pillman. Uh oh. And Pillman. And Jeff and Pillman is not, he's not trying to go through that table. Jeff Hardy being tossed outside that ring by Pillman. Matter of fact, Pillman says he's not even going to waste any time. He's going to go ahead and become a champion. And Jeff Hardy needs to get up. Get up, Jeff. Get up. And Jeff Hardy. And Jeff Hardy. He needs to get up. He needs to get up. Oh, God. And oh, Pillman. no. Oh, and Pillman. my God. Pillman to trouble. Pillman. Pillman. Oh my God, and what a Hardy. spear. God, and these two men putting it on the line tonight. And Jeff Hardy and Brian Pillman are definitely giving us one hell of a matchup. They're giving us a show, ladies and gentlemen. Throwing to the ladder. ladder. This is that, that type of match where it gets dangerous. Jeff Hardy with that table. And he's setting up that table. Wait a minute, Pillman. And Pillman. Yeah, what is Pillman thinking? Jeff Hardy. Oh, man, Jeff. I feel bad for Jeff Hardy. Oh, no, Jeff. This I can't feel, be. I feel bad Pillman. for Jeff Hardy. Brian Pillman. God, oh. Jeff Hardy. And Jeff Hardy. God. His body has to be in agony and pain. Jeff Hardy is broken in half. And the kid from Cameron North. And Pillman.
took it to the extreme when he put Jeff through that table. And let's not forget Jeff broke a ladder on Pillman. And now both ladders in the ring. Oh, wait a Jeff Hardy. Oh, and Pillman. Pillman. And Jeff Hardy now. Jeff Hardy stopping Pillman from climbing that ladder. He said he doesn't want Pillman in any. Oh, oh Pill Ooh, a whip lash for Jeff Hardy. Pillman doesn't want Jeff Hardy. And Pillman's going to try to get to that. Oh, no. Oh, oh my, my God. And oh, Pillman my is, God. And Jeff Hardy going to the top of the ladder. Brian Pillman neck just bounced off our announcement table. Oh, my God. And Jeff, and oh Jeff Hardy God. keeps his money briefcase. And what a match up, ladies and gentlemen. Talk about high-flying action. These two men put on a heck of a show. What a match. And Jeff Hardy is going to leave Armageddon tonight. Still with his money in the bank. What a big night for Jeff Hardy. This kid came and he fought. That nigga had... And here comes the challengers for the tag team championship. Crash Holly and His Bob. Cousin Hardcore. Bob Hardcore Holly after defeating the Dudley Boys for a number one contender spot at Survivor Series. The Hollies work their way to face the tag team champions Edge of Christian tonight here at Armageddon. Talk about a successful night for Edge of Christian if they beat the Hollies. And we could have new tag team champions, ladies and gentlemen. We'll find out soon. And here comes the tag team champions who have been holding these belts for quite some time since October. We're here in December going into January. And they're still the champs. Edge of Christian, like I said, they're all about games. But at the same time, they handle business when they're in the ring. And they had a hell of a cage match against the Acolytes on Raw. Where they sealed the deal with them. Acolytes can no longer get a rematch. <laughs> the crowd not receptive of the tag team champions here tonight at Armageddon. They hate them. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and Christian accidentally hit Edge. Oh. And anything goes in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. No disqualification. Edge and Christian are looking to retain, retain their championships. And the Hollies over Ed, all over Edge and Christian right now. They want those tag team titles. I don't blame them. I mean, Edge and Christian have been proving themselves. Oh, and Edge head took him right off. Edge and Christian have been proving themselves. And what a roll-up by Hardcore and prematurely on Christian. Oh, man, the Holly's coming in strong. Christian bouncing off that top rope with the hands of Hardcore Holly and a backdrop to Christian. And Hardcore Holly now has Edge, and he's he's hungry. Yeah, he's oh, all the with a spear. spear. And Bob Holly is definitely a main factor tonight. No, oh, Christian with another spear. Edge and Christian warming up. Oh, what a DDT by Hardcore to Christian. And you know you got to watch Edge and Christian because they love, oh, chairs. Hardcore Holly with that kendo stick. He's oh, sizing crash up. over the rope. He's sizing up Christian. Christian might want to watch his back. Oh, and that shot to Christian. Oh, and Edge, Edge tried to, to come to the save. 
And now Edge pays for trying to leap on Hardcore Holly. Oh, man, you can just hear the impact of that candlestick. And they don't call him Hardcore for nothing. That Christian now. Coming to the aid of his brother. Oh, and someone's bust open. And I do believe that man is on oh, Edge right now. And Hardcore Holly thrown into their ring post by Christian, the tag team champions. Oh, and an uppercut from Christian. And Edge and Christian looking to keep their championship. Oh, look what Christian has. Oh, buddy. Oh, my God. There goes Hardcore. And Crash might want to watch his back. Oh, and Christian with a chair. And Christian is vicious with that chair shot. And that's Edge and Christian's specialty, that chair. They say anybody can get it. Oh, a Christian planet. And Edge is already busted open in a shot with that bat at the hands of Hardcore Holly. Crash. Go oh, into the ropes. And the tag team champions in full control of this matchup right now. Oh, a good night. Hardcore. Oh, and a drop kick by Hardcore Holly. Oh, and Christian putting him out of there. Hardcore Holly, I mean, excuse me, Crash Holly with a suplex. And Edge is all alone. Oh, and Hardcore is out of there. And Edge. He has, he has little Crash. Oh, oh and Crash. And the fans do not like Edge and Christian. Christian and Crash going at it. You're crashing. You used to get out of that days. Oh my God! And what a shot! A spear by Christian to crash. Christian is definitely on fire. He has Crash right where he want him. Oh, and Edge taking it to Bob Holly off the ring. And Christian, can he get him? Oh yeah. I think it's the unprettier time. Oh, oh and he and Crash Holly is open, and that's got to be it. And oh, Edge and, and Christian. <laughs> And Ed stopping Bob Holly. And what a successful night for the tag team champions. Ed and Christian still holding the gold. Whether you like it or not, Ed and Christian are still your champions. Oh, and here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the Intercontinental Championship match. And without further introduction, here comes the man that couldn't beat Matt Hardy. Let's just we're just gonna put that out on the table. He couldn't beat Matt. And I don't know I don't even know how the hell he's in this match right now. And Val Venus. He had his eyes on Lita. 
at, at the at the ringside on SmackDown. As her and Sable locked eyes, I don't know what that was about, but they did not take their eyes off each other the whole time that match was going on. And Val said that he has a plan since they couldn't stop looking at each other. And he said he's going to be the final piece of that puzzle. And not if Matt Hardy has something to do with it. I think tonight Val's going to learn his lesson when Matt Hardy gets his hands on him. Matt Hardy does not like Val Venus. And here comes the generation on X-Pac. We haven't seen much of X-Pac since his, his, his lost part in that feud with Undertaker and Triple H, helping, helping Triple H out a lot. Well, they did just take down the Undertaker on Monday Night Raw, Billy Gunn, Rodog, and X-Pac. But the question is, can they take him down tonight? Can Triple H do that? And it would be great for Xbox to Xbox to win his Intercontinental title. And Triple H to retain his belt. person we haven't seen in a long time Eddie Guerrero and he's coming out of hiatus and this is a heck of an opportunity for Latino Heat to leave Armageddon with that Intercontinental title you know it's good to see Eddie back after that ankle injury he suffered they kept him out for months and now he's back and I think Eddie is focused he better be focused he, he has three competitors in the ring that are top-notch wrestlers in this business and it's gonna take more than just one frog splash to win this match. I mean, this is elimination style. So, it can go anyway. Yeah, tonight we're going to find that out. Who's going to walk out of Armageddon as the Intercontinental Champion. And now, speaking of Intercontinental Champion, here comes the champ. Matt Hardy is the Intercontinental Champion after winning the belt on SmackDown in the Steel Cage match against Billy Gunn and former champion Chris Benoit. And what a night for Matt Hardy. He has to be focused and ready. From Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 236 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Matt Hardy. And that gold shining around the waist. It's been worn by the likes of Pat Patterson, Bret Hart, and Matt Hardy is the Intercontinental Champion. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Intercontinental Championship on the line. And that gold hoisted in the air. Elimination style rules, ladies and gentlemen. And Matt Hardy going straight for X-Pac. And this crowd behind Matt. Oh, and X-Pac tried to leap outside the ring. And Matt Hardy countering what X-Pac had planned in a shot. And this is elimination style. You can definitely tell the crowd is behind Hardy. And a backdrop to Eddie Guerrero. And Hardy, you know, oh, you know who he couldn't wait to get his hands on. And that's that man in the red panties. <laughs> <laughs> the red patties. Oh, an X Pac counter with Matt Hardy had planned. No, on a bulldog from Hardy. What a clothesline by Val Venus to Eddie Guerrero. Oh, and there we go, Matt Hardy, Val Venus. No, oh, and Hardy taking him out of the the matchup. Oh, what a neck breaker by Eddie Guerrero to X Pac, and now. The champion and Eddie Guerrero going back and forth. 
And Val Venus slips in with a Russian leg sweep on, on the champion. But no, here comes X-Pac. Oh, with a forearm smash. And X-Pac looking to get some gold. He said he wants to bring that IC title home to DX. Oh, what a clothesline. And Eddie Guerrero, what is he thinking about? Oh, man, what a maneuver by a Latino Heat. Yeah, and Hardy taking him down. No, oh, there goes Val. And this is elimination style, ladies and gentlemen. Once you are pent, you must go back to the locker room. Oh. Oh, oh man, Hardy down. And now X-Pac. And X-Pac trying to get Eddie Guerrero, but Eddie Guerrero countering that. And Matt getting in the mix now. Oh, and Val. Okay, Val Venus trying to get a taste of X-Pac. And Matt Hardy wants Val Venus bad. Oh, another shot. And what a neck breaker. And X-Pac getting the hold of Matt. And the champion's going up. Oh, what a suplex. And Matt Hardy down. Oh, wait, Matt Hardy's back up. Huh? Oh, he's going for a pin elimination style. And oh, Val Venus gets his shoulders off the canvas. And Hardy, I think. Oh, oh and Hardy was God, definitely and aiming towards. Oh, and Matt Hardy just sent out the ring by X-Pac. And Matt was definitely aiming towards Eddie Guerrero, but X-Pac cut that short. Uh-oh, and X-Pac is in trouble to three amigos. God. X-Pac. Yeah, and the third one connects by Eddie Guerrero, but Val Venus is right all over Eddie Guerrero. X-Pac's definitely flat. Oh, wait a minute, X-Pac. Oh, and Guerrero's stopping Val for, from whatever it was he was going to do. Oh, and an elbow from Hardy. And a frog splash. Good night, Val. And just like that, Val Venus took it out by Matt Hardy and Eddie Guerrero. Oh, and Eddie Guerrero trying to get X-Pac. Oh, and X-Pac. Oh, and taking Matt Hardy down. No oh, and X oh X Pac with a move. And now Hardy back in the row. Matt Hardy can't seem to stay in the match. Oh, and X Pac tried to I think he was trying to go for that X Factor. And that's him and Guerrero keeping Hardy out of the equation. God and Hardy back down again. And X Pac. And Matt Hardy reverse counters that Irish whip. And what a clothesline by Matt Hardy to Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero getting out of the ring. Wisely. Oh, and what a drop kick. Payback for earlier. Where's Hardy going now? Matt Hardy is at that top rope. Oh, I think he's taking moonsault. Oh, oh my man, God. Matt what a Hardy. maneuver. And the ref has to get that pin. He's taking too long. And, and Hardy. X Pac is eliminated. And it's up to Latino Heat <laughs> and Mattitude. Oh, oh and what a really power bomb. Hardy caught up in that ropes. And Matt Hardy, he can't tap. Wait, oh, Hardy getting out of that move. Matt Hardy, I think he's going Hardy Boy's leg drop. No, oh, and Hardy connects. Oh, and Matt Hardy trying to retain that title. Oh, what a suplex by the Intercontinental Champion. Oh, what is that? Eddie Guerrero with a roll up, and Matt Hardy is going to get out of it. Ooh, and Matt Hardy at the last second almost losing that Intercontinental Championship. <laughs> and Guerrero feeling very confident. No, oh, what a Hardy suplex. driven down to that mat. 
And Matt Hardy, oh, and a spinning heel kick by the Intercontinental Champion. And Matt, can he be successful tonight like his brother? That's the question. And he's putting Eddie Guerrero up on that top row. And this is not looking good for a Latino Heat. Oh, man. Hardy. Oh, man. Oh, man. And uh, I think we're thinking, Matt Hardy's thinking super flex. super flex. God, oh, man. And Eddie Guerrero's back right off that canvas. And now Matt Hardy. Oh, Hardy Boy's leg drop. Oh, no, and no, Eddie no. Guerrero moves out the way and that, that elbow across the forehead of Matt Hardy. Oh, man, and Eddie Guerrero is up top. And I think he's thinking five-star frog splash. Oh, no, he's not. He's thinking a moment. Oh, and a corkscrew that did not connect. And now Matt Hardy going back up top. And a Hardy Boys leg drop. And a leg the drop connects. And that might be all she wrote for Eddie Guerrero here at Armageddon. Oh, and he gets his shoulders off the canvas. And Guerrero not backing down. And Hardy. Oh, wait a minute, Hardy, what is he thinking? Oh, man, here we go. Trust the fate. And that's got to be all she wrote. And Matt Hardy is going to retain the Intercontinental Championship. And he gets the win. And Matt Hardy prevails tonight here at Armageddon with a successful title defense. And what a matchup that was, ladies and gentlemen. Matt Hardy beat three other men to retain his Intercontinental title. And what a night. Matt Hardy, still the Intercontinental Champion. And this has been an interesting reign for Matt Hardy, seeing that he's never been the Intercontinental Champion before. And what a win.